Hey everyone, this is Richard Taylor from FCPX.TV. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can set up timeline markers in Final Cut Pro. When you set markers in Final Cut Pro currently, it actually places the markers in individual clips, not in the timeline. If you move the clips, the markers move with them. Sometimes a clip marker may be what you want. Other times, you just want timeline markers to stay at certain time code points in the timeline like they did in sequences in Final Cut Pro 7. If you don't have a timeline open, create a project or a compound clip timeline and open it and bring some clips into it. To place a marker in the Final Cut Pro main storyline, move the playhead where you want to mark a location and press the M key. Once you mark your clips, if you decide to move them, the markers go with them. Command Z to undo those markers. To keep timeline markers stationary, use a full length timeline title as a marker container. Set an in point at the beginning and an out point at the end of your timeline to make a range selection. In the Titles browser, select Basic Title. Press the Q key to superimpose this title over the entire length of your timeline range selection. In the timeline, select the title and then open the inspector with Command 4. Erase the word title in the text inspector. Back in the timeline, select the title and place the playhead at each marker location. Press the M key to set a marker. These title markers will stay put regardless of how you rearrange the clips in the main storyline. The marker title will move, however, if you move the first clip since it is connected to it. To avoid this, create a marker title anchor clip. Place the playhead at the beginning of the timeline. Then press Option W to insert a gap clip. Zoom in. Change the gap clip duration to one frame or any other duration you'd like. Zoom into this one frame gap clip and then drag the markers title over it to connect it. You can now drag clips around and the timeline markers stay in place. Rename the title to markers. You can jump to any of your markers by using the timeline index. If you'd like to set up a marker's title for reuse in any Final Cut Pro project, you can create one in Motion. Once you save it, it will be available in all future Final Cut Pro projects in the Titles browser. Right-click on the basic title in the Title Library and choose Open a Copy in Motion. Once opened in Motion, erase the word Title in the Inspector. Then go to the File, Save As, and save this new title with no text. I'm saving mine in the RT category, RT for Richard Taylor. Back in Final Cut Pro, go to the Titles Inspector and find your marker's title. To change the name or kind of a marker, double-click an existing marker or click the M key twice when you make the marker. To delete all markers, just delete the marker's title. You can also delete selected markers by selecting the marker's title and visiting the menu Mark, Markers, Delete Markers in Selection, or use the keyboard shortcut Control shift m You can also drag the marker title below the primary storyline. There you have it, Timeline Markers in Final Cut Pro. Thanks for watching.